Take a look at this. How does it make you feel? Do you get a tingle in your fingers, a lump at the back of your throat, your hair slowly rising off of your skin? What you're experiencing right now is the fear of the uncanny valley. It's an evolutionary warning system that has helped us distinguish between friend and foe for 300,000 years. Unfortunately, with the insane rise of artificial intelligence, we are on the edge of an evolutionary shift that could erase this defense mechanism completely and put our species in grave danger. Is there anything we can do about this? And if not, what does the future hold for humanity in a world where it's impossible to distinguish between what's human and what's not? Uh, but before we get there, what exactly is the Uncanny Valley? Well, to answer that, we have to go back to the year 1970. In 1970, Japanese roboticist Masahiro Mori stumbled on something strange. Uh, people liked robots that were obviously machines. Metal arms, mechanical faces, things like that. But when the robots were more humanoid, people's reactions shifted. The closer the robots looked to humans, the more unsettling they became. Mori studied this surprising phenomenon using many different objects, from things that bear no resemblance to humans all the way to an actual human being. And from his findings, he was able to draw what would become one of the most haunting graphs in robotics, one that he coined the Uncanny Valley. On the y-axis is Shinwakan, what Mori called familiarity or likability. On the x-axis is human likeness, how much something feels like one of us. Once you move past the midpoint, the curve suddenly plunges. That's the valley. It's where charm gives way to unease. But why do we have these eerie feelings towards things that appear human but aren't human enough? Well, there are many theories that have been proposed as to why we experience the uncanny valley, one of which blames the existence of Neanderthals, our ancient rival species. Some people argue that humans developed advanced facial pattern recognition as a way to differentiate between the species. This argument, I'll be honest, it sounds okay on the surface, but it quickly falls apart once you look at the available evidence. First, we have DNA evidence that proves that at least some of our human ancestors and Neanderthals were interbreeding. Quite a lot, actually. In fact, a lot of humans that are alive today have a tiny slice of Neanderthal DNA within them, so... I don't necessarily know if it makes sense for us to develop a fear of the things that we were happily getting into bed with. There's also the fact that there are a lot of human groups that never had an interaction with Neanderthals, yet those humans today still experience the uncanny valley.